Welcome back to Dr. Juhau. Love that little sticker of a tree. Looks like the ones I'm making here. Welcome to the Halloween special where we're going to teach you how to make these trees for your own do it yourself haunted forest decor. Of course, they could be used for game tables too. Anyway, let's get right to the table. Okay, and so this is a Halloween kind of haunted forest piece made from a toilet paper tube, uh, tea light, and some twigs. So we're going to go ahead and uh, show you kind of how I do those. So the first thing is you get your tube and draw your face on it. Um, <clears throat> you might need to do this with an X-Acto blade. Otherwise, I find that cheapy dollar store like cuticle scissors, I think they are, um, is enough to, to get in and, and get those odd little angles and cuts and stuff. And then uh, once you've done that, you also want to like cut some corners and angles on the top here. Now, I do have one that I've got that one step further here than this. And uh, just to kind of help move this along here. So this face is a little bit more menacing. And like I said, I've got the pieces at the top there already kind of cut out. Um, so at this point, we do a couple of things. Uh, you can shape this cardboard a little bit the way it is now, like these fangs we can pinch a little bit to make them more stand out-ish. Right, you know, they, they look a little bit more sharp. And then, you know, same thing with all the teeth, kind of get them to pop out a little bit. And kind of the same kind of thing, we're going to do a big old bend here, kind of see if we can get an interesting face and furrow that way. So, and then you see it's already starting to want to distort the cardboard some different ways because of what we're doing. And that's perfectly fine because that's kind of what, what we want to do to start with here. And then, so, at that point, now that you've got kind of an interesting thing going on, we're going to get some hot glue and first we're going to line all the teeth out and then maybe the eyes. So we're going to line out that stuff with hot glue, start adding some detail on that. So now that I've kind of outlined the teeth already that way, I'm going to actually draw like a lip around it all now to kind of add another little three-dimensional element. And then we go ahead and set that aside and let that cool down and then we'll go through and add some more texture to all of this. That's just kind of the start on the face there. Kind of vaguely skull-like shapes there to get that face going. But we'll get um, just a lot of vertical lines to make it look like that bark. And then so I'm going to go ahead and bring in the sticks. These are some fine little knobby weird sticks that I picked up just on a walk the other day. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just break some of these off here. Get some little bit shorter pieces. But these are nice and like finger-like and bony. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. that cool down be back in a minute so this one was just glued right on we're gonna kind of make up some of that visual space with some hot glue kind of poked that one in and just kind of roll those pieces and pinch this stuff a little bit and then just part of the, what we're doing is now just adding some texture so that when we paint this it 
looks different than just cardboard. Okay. And you know, it's all about having some fun. Like you can draw some shapes and drag this through it and kind of sculpt with that hot tip a little bit. I'm gonna come back through here and like add another layer on that lip just to try to make it just a little bit more defined. Hopefully it'll show up a little bit later. And maybe some more of this heavy furrow here and cheekbone stuff. And then, you know, while each one dries, if you got more than one going, you can kind of keep moving it along. Um, I like this sorrow face a little bit. That's the one I showed earlier when we started. Uh, no teeth on him, but I think he'll be a fun one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some sticks added to him as well. And then uh, when we come back, we'll do the roots. All right then, so for the next piece, okay, so all these little flyaway teeny little things, um, it's really easy. Let's just grab a, a lighter and just kind of do it real quick. Gets rid of most of them, just kind of run over that. Anyway, um... You need a piece of parchment for the roots, so we're just going to set that on that parchment. And then just kind of uh, draw a little root out. And another. This don't need to be amazingly big. Just kind of putting a foot on the overall piece. And draw it up. And then so we're just gonna let that sit and cool. And then uh, we can add to these. I'm trying to keep this project kind of simple for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both of the trees we're building here on here. And then uh, once those have cooled down, we'll move on. All right, and uh, so there's the little root parts made from hot glue. Um, Hot glue is pretty thin. If you wanted to go through and trim some of that up with a pair of scissors or uh, cut some of that down, that, that's up to you. Um, you know, like this one, this one's a little rough. I might trim that up a little bit more. Anyway, so the next step is going to be we're going to get a base coat of either a dark brown or a black and uh, start the dry brush process. So, all right, so and black bombed. So at this point, it's just kind of a dry brush, quick dry brush. I'm going to start with this kind of burnt sienna brown. Um, and that's going to help make some of this detail pop out here. difference there to kind of bring out the sculpted hot glue details and then also that guy that wonderfully sad screaming oh, moaning and terror or pain or anguish anyway so the next part is going to be putting that piece of parchment paper up inside to cover the cutouts and then we'll also have the light on and there is so that you get that wonderful kind of lit up face all right so here we go here's kind of mean face one we've been making here Turn down the lights a little bit here so you can see the light effect a little bit better. But uh, there's your nice evil tree there. And here's, here's the sad tree. 
And then here's the, the first couple I've made. They don't have the paper in there to screen and spread that light. Um, same thing though, toilet paper tube, hot glue, some twigs, and a LED tea light. Uh, you could dress this up a few different ways. You could put foliage on here, some moss or something help dress that up somehow. Um, you could change the color. I kind of went with this realish-ish brown. Uh, you could do more gray like they were dead or green and high gloss like they were swampy or you know maybe even figure out a way to put little apples on it so it's an evil apple tree. Anyway, so there's your, your Halloween haunted tree, evil forest kind of decor. Easy to do. Give this a try. Have some fun. Alright, so if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Let me know if you try these trees. Thanks again for watching Doc Shows You How. Have a happy Halloween.